<laughs> not start us off. I'm going to continue the train. Yeah. There is there is yet another man. Uh, I shouldn't say that. There's yet another question asker. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say what they are. Okay. Um, coming up, and they say, hey, guys. Recently, when I was in a local coffee house, a friend of mine walked in carrying a bag of groceries. She came to my table, took out carrots, and started grating them. When she got close to the end of the first carrot, I warned her not to cut herself on the grater and that it was making me nervous. I went to the bathroom, and when I got back, she had a paper towel around her finger. Oh. She looked like an idiot for cutting her <laughs> finger while grating a carrot in a coffee shop. Should I have done something different to avoid this? This is from Great Job Kim. I didn't know that you could cut yourself giving something a grade. I need to warn all of my teachers. Have you never used a grader in your life, Zane? You seem like the kind of person who would say, I've never used a grader. I'm not a teacher, so I've never needed to grade anybody on anything. No, great, <laughs> great, great, my friend. See, that's see, you're just grading me at a great level. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how words can cut you <laughs> like that. Get off. Let's go. <laughs> Cheese grater. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean... On the train. It's taking off. <laughs> Here goes the cheese grater train. <laughs> Zane's being left behind because he's grading papers. Come on. <laughs> I would never grade papers. That's my point. All right. So, yes, I've used okay. a cheese grater. What do I look like? Some Have dumb you? buffoon? A dumb buffoon who's never picked up a utensil? What? What do you think? I don't go into my own kitchen and try and figure out what every single object in that kitchen does? Of course I do. Zane. And I've never I've used never a turkey baster to use correctly in once. my life. I once thought a turkey baster was supposed to be a weird water bottle. It is not. <laughs> I it... I've definitely used it in the bathtub to put my dirty bath water into my mouth as a small child. Of course. This I've is... been like, oh, this must clean it. This is what it is. It must is. be better now. Turkey basters I'm not... are the epitome of water purifiers. Yeah, I'm, I'm not some barbarian who's just going to drink the water right out of the bathtub. I'm going to put it through this turkey baster first exactly. and then directly down my gullet. Yeah. Exactly. I have very clearly found many a use for turkey basters. None of which are what I think the turkey baster is for, which might be hmm. based in a turkey. Give me some more. Uh, no, give me some more. What uh, are some of those other alternative uses? Well, I definitely tried to clean a car with it, where you put, I got the bucket of soap, and then I did that, and then I thought that that's how you clean the windows, because that's oh. how you get into the cracks. That's how you get into the cracks. Mm-hmm. Hose just won't do it. No, we no. Need that ho- baster power. Ho- hose is for the surface, turkey baster for the cracks. No. Wait. What are you, what in the world do you do? What cracks? What? Do you not have... Cr- in a car? You, in a, the, you, you know have cracks the, in your you car know where window? The, you, know, <laughs> you know where the window like meets like... Where where it stops being the window and it goes back to being the car? You know <laughs> I that think that's part? my... Actually, that's weird you should say that. It's my new novel uh, title. It's called Where the Window Becomes No More Window. Where the Window Becomes Car Yet Again. Where the Window Becomes Car. Yet Again. That's my new, that's my new novel title. You'll never guess what it's about. Anyways, Volume 1. Um, <laughs> Where have we gone with this question? Oh, yeah. Zane, I've never seen you. This isn't it either, but mm-hmm. I've never seen you cook a meal in my life. Really? Yeah, oh, that's true. I've been but, friends with you eight years now. But you, you've you've lost you've lost time with me because I'm I'm a chef now. I Are you? I do the cooking. I do give the me, cooking. Give me some cigresses. Dude, I just... Cigress? Nah, Cigre- that's bad for you. Don't smoke. Signature I- recipes? <laughs> I'm, I'm still working on the coining for that. I'm fine tuning the cigarettes. The abbreviation. Some cigarettes. That just sounds like cigarettes. Really? I love it. It rolls right off the tongue. I just made chicken today. I just made chicken with some basil and some pepper and roasted uh, pepper and roasted red pepper and cook it in olive oil so that it keeps some of that nice, good, good liquidy whatever. And I made my own sauce too. Uh, wow. But I can't give away all my secrets, Will, because I'm a chef, and a chef <laughs> never reveals all of his secrets. Uh, you're going to have to we pay We don't want me. anybody else in the jazz club to hear that either. Yeah. I understand. I'm proud of you. It's weird seeing your baby friends grow up. Anyways, um, so back to the question asker. Is there anything that you could have done differently? Um, you, to, yeah. Well, so, A, why'd you let them start grading carrots in a coffee shop? I guarantee there is nobody that was in that coffee shop that looked up, saw someone grating carrots, and then said, ah, yes, and then went back down to their coffee and book. Oh, and... cool, cool, cool. That's normal. And went back down. Yeah. The... Do you go to do you go to coffee shops in town? Uh, in, in Baston, not so much. Not until summertime comes around. 
what do you mean? You don't go to coffee shops until summer? Yeah, because when I can be more outside. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. I just thought, oh, I only have hot drinks during the summer. No, I mean, I don't drink coffee in general, so I have really I no I just call. like sweating with my with my drink. Yeah. I, as my drink sweats, I like to sweat with it. it yeah. It fills me with empathy for the beans. Exactly. <laughs> it's bean empathy, really, is what it boils down to. <laughs> they, they sweat for my enjoyment, and I just want to give them back what's theirs. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's a give and take. Um, it's a give and take. Is there anything else that you could have done? I don't want to be simple here. Simple is saying, t- just take the goddamn grater out of their hand. What, why, just why remove have you it wait- from them? Why have you been Well, they did long? say they were friends. And I think that if I came in and was like, got a grate and just got went for it and somebody stole my grater, I, they wouldn't be called my friend anymore. You say what's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. And then you give them back um, tenfold. Uh, you give you give them back uh, the keys to your house just for a night, and then you give you also give them tickets to that Lana Del Rey concert they've never asked to go to. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen those gloves that I definitely thought was just because people had a weird thing where they were trying to make a full suit of ch- like full full like suit of chain mail, mm. but they just stopped after a hand. You know what I'm talking about? Those, yes. Uh, now those I do. gloves that are yes. made of chain mail. Yeah. Sorry, I should have said that first. It's like when Grandma um, tries to knit a chain mail glove for you for the winter and realizes how hard it is to knit chain mail. Yeah, I I. At my first school, I went to my first college. Uh, there was somebody who spent. Uh, over like had started a year before they got to college and was still working on it when i left college there um on a full suit of chain mail for real for real yeah no that's not a joke at all actually believe it or not there was there was a guy and he just uh would sit around with like you know some pliers and a bunch of chain which is really just a, like a spool of wire that you just like put in the circles and you would just make chain mail all yeah. day long. Have you ever gotten a knock on your door? Just knock, knock, you open it up and there's just so much clanging outside you don't know what it could possibly be and they open the door and there's a full man in chain mail armor and he says, Sup, bud? Yeah, I'm impervious. That's what he said when mm. he walked in. He mm-hmm. said, you can't even stab me. No, but he then did he say try. You would try. Go ahead, try, try and here, stab and he me. He handed me a gigantic knife. No, um, he did... <laughs> Sort of stuff like that, though, where he would he would hold it up. He would like test it out to see if it was holding up. Side note: would, I like, do think gigantic knives are uh, more commonly known as swords. No, it wasn't that big, Zane. I'm not an idiot. It's in between. It's in between. I'm not an idiot. Is the issue? It's in between. No. <laughs> it's in between you think normal I'm not knife a total and total loser to know what a sword is. It's wait. So it's not. It's not even dagger sized, or is it bigger than dagger? Screw off! It was a kitchen knife, my dude. <laughs> Big kitchen knife. Big. It, it was a big knife. Big gigantic kitchen knife. knife. It was it was, like, <laughs> it was gigantic kitchen knife. the kind you should be butchering with. Okay. Except it had a pointy end. Okay. We're so far from this question. All right. So far. Um. <laughs> I I don't even know. I think I think <laughs> I think you give you take away the grater as we've said, and you give back their house keys, and they go to your house, and they find a full suit of chain armor <laughs> that they can wear. And they'll come to the coffee shop the next day wearing it because they didn't bring a second change of clothes. Although that mindscape is horrifying of just wearing chain mail. There's somebody out there who's done that, right? There's somebody mm-hmm. out there who's been like, this is my idea of sexy and shown up in yeah. just chain mail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like, uh, what's it called? Like a it's sanogram? Like it's definitely happened like eight times. It's yeah. like a medieval sanogram where they're in yeah. nothing but chain mail. Yeah. What are you wearing? Chain mail. What else? Nothing. Um, <laughs> what's on under the chain mail just me <laughs> just me and my fleshy pink supple skin anyways <laughs> um, you you take away the grater they go to their house they find the chain mail they don't have a second pair of clothes they come to the coffee shop wearing just chain mail and you say here is your knife or your, here is your grater <laughs> back you will not hurt yourself thanks yeah. to my chain mail you're welcome I do think that the chain mail is really the the best key is give them your chain mail so that they then can no longer be hurt by their uh, grating ways you know I think we actually helped give the person like buy the person for Christmas or their birthday time sort of area celebration like a whole glove that's, of chain mail that's very true that's very true they won't find it degrading it'll be for the greater good and that's great news dang son alright your turn Zane <laughs> All give right. us a question